Welcome to Robotics and Automation News webinars, where you can be part of a global event without leaving your home or office. Attend our live webinars and communicate directly with influential professionals in your industry. Hello, my name is Abdul Montakim. I'm editor of roboticsandautomationnews.com. I'm here today attending a webinar given by Jesse Clayton, Senior Manager of Product Autonomous Machines at NVIDIA uh, for their launch of their new computer for autonomous machines. So as you all know, we recently announced a new product for autonomous machines called Jetson AGX Xavier. On Wednesday, December 12th in Santa Clara, we will be hosting uh, what will be our biggest Jetson developer event ever. And at that event, we will announce the availability of the Jetson AGX Xavier production module. And that's what today's briefing is all about. This module is going to enable production of a whole new generation of autonomous machines. Um, we'll also have several partner announcements of companies who have adopted Jetson AGX Xavier. So today, I'm going to do three things. First, I'll share with you all of the relevant background on Jetson AGX Xavier and why it's such an important product for the autonomous machine space. I'll also give you a recap of all of the important announcements we've done to date for Jetson AGX Xavier. Second, I'm going to dive into the specifics of the Jetson AGX Xavier module. And third, I'll share with you the new partner and customer announcements that will be coming out on the 12th and give you some insight into everything that will be happening at the developer event. Let me start with the background. As you know, if you follow NVIDIA, uh, we are now at the cusp of one of the biggest changes in the history of technology. Three big trends are coming together that will enable a truly unique development, which is the software defined autonomous machine. The first big trend is the rise of GPU computing. <coughs> NVIDIA invented the accelerated computing approach with which by focusing on one domain at a time, we've been able to increase performance 1,000 times in 10 years, and this during a period when Moore's law has stagnated. This rapid performance increase has enabled the second big trend. Deep learning is one of the most demanding computing applications that's ever been devised. As you know, in deep learning, the software is written by an algorithm that learns from a vast amount of data. Uh, this algorithm writes software that no human could possibly write. Deep learning has launched a whole new era of artificial intelligence, research, and development. The third big trend, deep learning and modern AI has now gotten to the point where it's possible to build AI-powered autonomous machines. And so researchers, developers, data scientists all around the world are now racing to build the next generation of autonomous machines, which will solve problems that impact nearly every industry. These autonomous machines are defined by AI software, all made possible by NVIDIA GPU computing. So autonomous machines is going to be extraordinarily important in the coming years. And I said it will impact nearly every industry. There's lots of examples here. I won't go into all of the examples. Let me give you a couple indicators of how important this work is. In manufacturing, today about 10% of tasks are automated. The remaining 90% can't be automated because they're too hard for today's fixed function robots. Using GPUs and AI, our customers are starting to take on that remaining 90%. In agriculture, the world's food needs are expected to increase 70% by the year 2050, and there's no more arable land that's opening up. Early work from our partners has shown that AI-powered autonomous farming equipment can increase yields while at the same time dramatically reducing the use of chemical sprays. And in last mile delivery, the demand for express delivery is exploding. In the U.S., uh, there's 65 million households that are Amazon Prime subscribers. In China, this year, more than 50 billion deliveries were made. Now, there's no way for traditional methods to keep up, and so companies are turning to autonomous delivery vehicles to fill the gap. Now, our customers are looking to Jetson and GPUs because it gives them the level of performance and power efficiency and ease of development that allows them to design cutting edge solutions powered by AI software and get those solutions to market fast. 
Jetson is NVIDIA's platform for autonomous machines, and it's growing quickly. Here I'm showing you the previous generation. This is Jetson TX2. We launched Jetson TX2 in March of 2017, and since that time, it's taken off in developer adoption, in customer adoption, and in the growth of the Jetson ecosystem. Our customers use Jetson for three reasons. The first is the performance and power efficiency. Jetson has the performance and efficiency that makes it possible to build solutions that just can't be done with any other platform. The second is the programming model. Programming Jetson is as easy as programming any other NVIDIA GPU. You use C or C++ through CUDA. You use NVIDIA's libraries for AI and video analytics, NVIDIA's great developer tools. Jetson software saves developers time and it saves companies money. The third reason is encapsulation. NVIDIA has done the hard work of building a computing module around the processor, laying out the memory, tuning all the high-speed buses, doing the power sequencing. Doing this heavy lifting helps our customers get to market fast. Now, Jetson TX2 is an amazing product. It can do 1.3 trillion operations per second in under 15 watts. Jetson TX2 has enabled our customers to build AI-powered solutions that, that serve many industries. But it turns out that for autonomous machines, it really only scratches the surface. There's a big gap between what's needed for the next generation of autonomous machines and what's available today. Here are just three examples that are informed by our own robotics research team. But this is a challenge across every industry that autonomous machines touches. And our customers are already working on the next generation, and they're using arrays of 20 or 30 Jets and TX2s, or they're prototyping on big GPUs. For example, a prototype delivery robot might use a NVIDIA GTX 1070 because that's the only way to get the level of performance needed for this type of application. And that's a 200 watt PC, by the way. Imagine fitting a PC into a little delivery robot. But today, people are doing it because it's the only way. So the challenge to developing these autonomous machines is that they require an enormous amount of processing a small package using low power. In addition, these machines are fundamentally software defined. They need to have the ability to learn to add features and functionality and improve performance over the life of the machine. The software platform to develop the ever evolving applications that power these machines is really a fundamental requirement. And that's what Jetson AGX Xavier is all about. It's the level of performance and power efficiency needed to enable the next generation of software-defined autonomous machines. Now, we first announced Jets and AGX Xavier earlier this year, and, and here's a summary of all the news. Um, in September, we announced the availability of the Jets and AGX Xavier Developer Kit. Uh, that's what the picture is here. And this is how developers start development on our platform. And from September through November, some of the world's most important companies have announced adoption of Jets and AGX Xavier for their next generation of autonomous machines. And I'll be showing examples of these products later. Um, let me just make one point because we've had this question a lot. Uh, the AGX in Jets and AGX Xavier stands for Autonomous Machines GPU Acceleration. So AGX is actually the name for a family of products that all have sort of similar applications. So there is Drive AGX Xavier for self-driving cars. There is Clara AGX for uh, healthcare applications. Jetson AGX Xavier is our product for autonomous machines. Okay, so, so that's all of the background up to date. Um, let's get on to the new news. On December 12th, we'll be announcing availability of the Jetson AGX Xavier production module, and that's what today's briefing is all about. So the Jetson AGX Xavier module is an AI computer that makes fully autonomous machines possible. It brings the power of the NVIDIA AI platform to embedded devices like robots, drones, uh, IVA systems. Jetson AGX Xavier runs NVIDIA's comprehensive software stack, the Jetpack SDK, which includes 
support for AI, for computer vision, for parallel computing, and, and much more. And it simplifies and accelerates development and saves companies time and money. And Jetson AGX Xavier delivers the computing performance to run modern AI workloads in a small, power-efficient computing module. So this module will be available from Air Electronics uh, and other distributors worldwide for $1,099 in the U.S. in 1,000 unit quantities, and of course, um, different prices in, in different regions. Uh, the Jetson AGX Xavier computing module um, now is available so that companies can build AI software-defined autonomous machines at scale. Um, so now let me tell you a little bit about what makes Jetson AGX Xavier so special. So Jetson AGX Xavier was built around the Xavier SOC. And Xavier is remarkable because it has six different computers. It has a Volta GPU, ARM CPU, a deep learning acceleration engine, a programmable vision accelerator, a video processing engine, and an image signal processor. It's the first architecture developed from the ground up for autonomous machines. Why does it need six different processors? Well, we found that uh, from our work in self-driving cars that it's important to have a diversity of processors on board. You have different types of sensor data that's coming into the, into the uh, computer. Um, that sensor data needs to be processed in different ways depending on what type of sensor it is. And in many cases, you want redundancy in processing. So you might be trying to answer the same question um, with different processing pipelines to see if you arrive at the same answer for, for redundancy purposes. Xavier was four years in development. It was a joint development effort between software, hardware, our systems, and our process teams. And it's been optimized in every aspect, from architecture to design to process technology. So Jetson AGX Xavier delivers the performance needed for the next generation of autonomous machines in the size and power envelope that's typical of these devices. Earlier, I told you that companies are prototyping today on big GPUs because that's the only way for them to get the performance that they need. But a GPU workstation or GPU PC consumes too much power and too much space for many autonomous machines. Um, and they're not built for the environments that many of these autonomous machines go into. Jetson AGX Xavier has more performance and 10 times the power efficiency of a GPU workstation, or has over 20 times the performance of a Jetson TX2. And so compute performance is critical for AI software-defined autonomous machines, and Jetson AGX Xavier is how you get there. Now, Jetson of course, comes with software. NVIDIA software is designed to save developers time and to save companies money. Jetson ATX Xavier is supported by Jetpack and DeepStream SDKs. Jetpack includes the board support package, the Linux operating system, libraries for parallel computing, artificial intelligence, computer vision, uh, computer graphics, multimedia. Now, on top of that is DeepStream. Um, DeepStream helps developers quickly build and deploy video analytics applications. Jetson software is a continuous investment. Now, on, on a typical embedded platform, the developer is left to pull together all the disparate pieces of software. On Jetson, you get the complete SDK, and we regularly release updates that improve performance and add new features. So our customers can deploy new a AI capabilities to their products even after those products have shipped. These are truly software-defined autonomous machines. Um, in fact, at the developer event, we'll be showing a demo developed on DeepStream that demonstrates the capabilities of both the hardware and the SDK. 30 1080p streams decoded and processed in parallel. Deep neural networks are used to detect, uh, classify, and track vehicles and pedestrians. The GPU is used to render bounding boxes on the streams. Uh, the result is encoded and written to storage and displayed on a 4K display. Before now, you needed a Tesla P4 GPU server or something similar to even approach this level of capability. Now it can be done 
on a single yeah, Justin yeah. AGX Xavier. So here is a visual roll-up of all of the partner announcements to date with Jetson AGX Xavier. Uh, some of the world's most important companies have adopted Jetson AGX Xavier. JD.com, the second largest e-commerce company in China, is using Jetson AGX Xavier for their last mile delivery robot. Um, Wuton, the world's largest food delivery company, has chosen Jetson AGX Xavier for their food delivery robots. Kenayo, the logistics subsidiary of China's e-commerce giant Alibaba, selected Jetson AGX Xavier for its last mile delivery vehicles and warehouse robots. Yamaha is number one in mobility machines uh, in Japan. Um, Komatsu, the second largest manufacturer of worldwide of construction and mining equipment. Uh, Finuc, the world's number one factory automation system producer. Uh, Denso, number one in auto parts in Japan. Uh, they'll be using Jetson for robots and industrial IoT, including automated optical inspection uh, and predictive maintenance. Uh, Musashi does factory automation. Kawada does collaborative robotics. And Nanopore builds a DNA sequencing machine based on Jetson AGX Xavier. So lots of, lots of adoption of some of the world's most important companies. Now, a thriving ecosystem is a requirement for any autonomous machines product. Autonomous machines is an incredibly diverse space and applications need customization. The Jetson ecosystem is embracing Jetson AGX Xavier. All of these companies have announced or are announcing support for Jetson AGX Xavier. Jetson customers can now find partners for AI and system software, for hardware and design services, and for sensors. The Jetson ecosystem offers products and services that accelerate Jetson development. Jetson AGX Xavier joins the Jetson family, which includes Jetson TX1 and Jetson TX2, which now comes in a brand new 4 gigabyte version. Um, as I mentioned before, Jetson TX2 is a great product that solves a lot of problems for our customers. Adding a 4 gigabyte version at a lower price point gives them more options and also provides an upgrade path from Jetson TX1 to Jetson TX2. These are all supported by Jetson developer kits and they all run the same software. So what that means is our customers can build products with different performance requirements, different price points, but with a single unified software stack. I uh, really wish everybody uh, could, could come see the Jetson developer event firsthand. Um, we'll have over 25 customers and ecosystem partners that will be showing solutions built on the Jetson platform. I won't go through all of them here, but I'll give you some examples. Uh, DJI will be promoting their RoboMaster Challenge based on their Jetson-powered manifold box. Lockheed Martin will be promoting the Jetson-powered autonomous drone competition. MIT will be promoting their Jetson-powered uh, race car program for uh, high school students. Brain Corporation, in collaboration with SoftBank, is announcing a Jetson TX2-based autonomous cleaning machine for commercial applications and will be demonstrating it at this event. Skydia will show its Jetson-powered autonomous drone. Kiwi will show its delivery robot. And Aeon Robotics will show its Jetson-powered UDV platform. We'll have customers and partners demonstrating technology for video analytics. We'll have ecosystem design and sensor partners, companies showing Jetson powered VR, and last uh, but not least, Oxford Nanopore who build a Jetson powered field DNA sequencer. It's going to be a great event. We're expecting over 400 developers all coming to hear about Jetson. So here's a summary of the news that we'll be announcing on the 12th. Uh, Jetson AG Xavier module is now available worldwide. It has the performance of a GPU server in one-tenth the power and one-tenth the size. There's broad industry adoption of Jetson AGX Xavier from some of the world's most important companies like Yamaha, Maituan, JD.com, and Komatsu. Robust ecosystem support covering AI software sensors, hardware and services, and the Jetson family of products is now available from Jetson TX1, Jetson TX2, including the new 4 gigabyte SKU, and of course, Jetson AGX Xavier. 
glad that uh, we got a chance to share with you the news around Jets and AGX Xavier. I'm happy to take uh, any questions that you have. Well, I wanted to, uh, a sort of perspective on, on how much of a business it is, this autonomous uh, technology and, and uh, how much income it gets and, uh, in relation to the, the NVIDIA as a, as a whole. Yeah. Well, well, I can share with you um, our, our vision. So this is, I would say, very early in the autonomous machines business for NVIDIA. Um, the reason why we've decided to invest in it is because we just believe fundamentally that in the future, this is going to be a very important space. I mean, some of the examples that I, that I showed earlier of the need for autonomous machines to solve problems in, in manufacturing, um, in agriculture, uh, in, in delivery, in logistics, and, and a lot of other examples that, that we didn't talk about. Um, we've decided that this is, this is an important space, and it's somewhere where NVIDIA can make a unique contribution. And so we don't break out the financials for, for Jetson uh, at this time, um, but we do believe strongly that, that this is an important thing for us to be investing in. And if I could just follow up with the uh, question, a question about uh, um, ADAS, uh, Advanced um, Driving System Systems. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a, that's a certain type of autonomy or, or, or set of autonomous um, solutions that are put into new cars these days. Is that something that uh, NVIDIA um, chips are used for, or is that sort of not really quite quite up to the, you know, it doesn't need that much processing power. Uh, ADAS systems don't need this kind of processing power. I mean, how, how present are you in that market, so to speak? Sure. So I, I think the question is, what does NVIDIA do in the space of, of uh, advanced driver assistance systems and, and related areas? Um, that, that would be a, a question for our uh, automotive team, but I can speak to it at a high level. Um, so we have a second group that focuses specifically on automotive and they work on solutions from uh, uh, in-vehicle infotainment to ADAS to completely level five self-driving cars. And so it's absolutely an area uh, in which NVIDIA focuses and our automotive team is, is addressing a number of opportunities. Now we're, we're lucky on the Jetson side in that we, in, in some ways, they're, they're blazing the path for us with self-driving cars and we get to inherit a lot of the lessons learned and a lot of the technology that they develop. And so, um, there's an opportunity for us to, to bring some of that technology to help our customers bring autonomous machines to market. And uh, one last question, if I may. Um, the, robot, uh, the industrial robotic arm makers that are adopting this uh, uh, Jetson, are they, um, what are they looking to do in terms of uh, improvements or innovation? Is, is it going to lead to different types of robots, uh, different movements, different kind of... What, what are the changes going to be? Is it just faster processing and faster, more smoother, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, you know, yeah. operation or something? What, what's the difference going to be? Sure. Um, well, today's robots are really good at, at fixed function tasks a task like pick up this widget from exactly this location in space, bring it over here, put it together with this widget, and, and move it on to the next uh, robot in the manufacturing line. Um, what they're not good at is dealing with dynamic situations. And so what that means is, for example, it takes a really long time to set up a manufacturing line if you want to add a new part to that manufacturing line to be processed. Um, deep learning has an AI has been shown to be very robust to changes and can be taught to do new tasks relatively quickly. And so there's an opportunity for uh, robotics makers to bring factory automation to many more products than can possibly be done today, right? Today it only makes sense to add automation to your factory if you're going to build a lot of something, but there's a lot of smaller run products that can't benefit from these uh, economies of scale. And so there's an opportunity to bring automation into uh, a lot of other areas. Um, so so that's one example. Um, another example is there are some tasks that, that uh, like automated optical inspection um, that uh, just are not done as robustly uh, as is needed in manufacturing today. Um, deep learning has been shown to be effective at being able to do things like detect defects uh, in a part that's been manufactured and reject that before it gets out to the field. And so I think our, our customers, both in uh, the ones that build the arms 
um, and the ones that uh, uh, that do other tasks like uh, quality control, see a lot of opportunities for, for deep learning to take on that remaining 90% of tasks. Um, there's one other use case which I haven't mentioned, which is collaborative robotics. This is where a human and a robot are working together in the same area for some sort of manufacturing task. Um, it's a challenging problem to solve uh, and certainly can't be done effectively with traditional methods. Um, artificial intelligence has shown to, uh, to open the door to um, some, of these, some of these collaborative operations. Okay, thank you. Send us an email at sales at robotics and automationnews.com to register for one of our many upcoming webinars. And if you'd like us to host your webinar, we have a range of options, including long-term lead generation packages and marketing campaigns. We look forward to hearing from you soon.